Right, hey guys, how are we doing? Back another video from Swag Kage, and today we're checking out could Jiraiya beat the Akatsuki? Now, as soon as I saw this, I was like, no. <laughs> Just straight up, no. There's no way he could beat Itachi. There's no way he could beat Pain. There's no way he could beat Obito. So if he takes those three out, then possibly. It also depends on whether there's going to be a group thing as well. I literally mentioned this to my girlfriend just before she went out. And she's like, hmm, I don't know, could he take like the whole everyone at the same time? So could be that as well. And I apologise for how I sound. I've been really, really ill and full of cold the last few days, so it's been really hard to motivate myself to get recording. So as soon as you see this, like, right, this is the perfect one to get me back into the swing and stuff. So let's see if if, if blah blah, if Jiraiya could beat the Akatsuki. Oh my god. Blah, blah, blah. Use your words, Dan. Use your words. Hey! Oh, sick! Awesome! Cool! Yay! Awesome! So this is one of the few times where I actually feel like the title isn't completely self-explanatory. Ah, okay, cool. Um, so we're going to be talking about Jiraiya versus the Akatsuki, uh -huh. of course, but it's not like Jiraiya versus the entire Akatsuki. Oh, course. okay, here we go. Let's see how this works. Cool, cool, cool. I guess we can get into, like, if he could beat certain groups, mm -hmm. like two-man teams or whatever. All oh, right, because they all went out as two-man teams, didn't they? So that makes sense. going to be going over like one-on-one -on -one matchups. Cool. Obviously, Jiraiya loses to Pain. Yeah. yeah. Um. Ac actually, <laughs> if he uh, if he knew his secret. Uh, yeah, he nah, he wouldn't beat him in a fight. Jiraiya There's no way now. Would not beat Pain if they fought. Just something tells me. No, no. If he fought all of them at the same time, there's it would have gone a hell of a lot worse. Yeah. Sometime. yeah. <laughs> the next ones, some of these are really easy, others are, uh, like, really, really tough. Right. I think that most of us hmm. can agree Jiraiya would probably beat Hidan. Yeah, definitely. If like, Hidan come on. is the admitted <laughs> slowest of the Akatsuki, mm -hmm. and Jiraiya can react to Conan, who is not the slowest, then, yeah. Like, Jiraiya there we fought go. Conan, beat her up, like, in base. Oh, yeah, that's too. another one. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, yeah. So, so, <laughs> we know he would beat Conan, especially yeah. in Sage mode, because he beat her in base. Yeah, he wasn't so even in Sage mode, mode. managed to, like, just um, cover her in water, and she's, like, the oil, and she's done. <laughs> that was a lot of prep time that she had for that fight, though. Um, yeah. So if he, like, falls into the sea, like, for some reason, steps onto the water, and then she opens the sea of paper bombs. <laughs> like, <up>, boom. <laughs> Yeah, no one's that, prepping for these uh, fights. Wins, like 10 out of 10. So now, this is where we kind of get into slightly more difficult territory. Yeah. I, think that I still think Jiraiya's got these. Are dubs for Jiraiya. Yeah, I they're think he's got them. a gone. little bit more difficult, but I don't think that they're anything that Jiraiya, especially in, like, sage mode. Yeah, if he's in sage mode, he's got no problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus, he's got the toads so he can summon as well to help him fight, like... Storm Revolution Ninja Escapades cutscene. Okay, interesting. But right. Kishimoto but. did supervise the story, which means that he had a direct hand in writing some of those encounters. Like, mm -hmm. for example, Conan versus Sasori. And Conan beat Sasori. And Sasori's stronger than Daedara. So if you think that Conan is above Sasori because Kishimoto <laughs> seems to think Conan is above Sasori, then... Like, Jiraiya's beating up Daedara and Sasori Definitely. in base, uh, much less in Sage mode. Mm -hmm. Now, it's a little Not bit trickier needing to transform. Like, if you don't use that uh, direct comparison. But there's other data book stuff that makes it more clear. There's loads of other right? books that I need to read uh, about now, all these really like stuff like, man. First, eventually, Six convinced me to chill out. Uh, but there's a statement about, like, Jiraiya's power in Sage mode surpassing all five nations and stuff like that. What? Uh, him being stronger than all the Gokage. I like don't that kind of crazy think stuff. that's a... And in that case, mm. Jiraiya should be above Gara, who, like, he didn't lose badly to Daedra. And he also then got stronger by the time the five Kage summit and the war rolled Yeah, yeah, at the end of that, he's um, much stronger. And he still seemed to be weaker than A and Onoki. Uh, so, like, if Jiraiya is stronger than both of them, then this should firmly put him above Daedric. In my yeah. opinion, I like to think that, uh, if you imply that Jiraiya and Orochimaru are equal... Same. That, I would, I would uh, argue that, yeah. Uh, and Jiraiya are probably, uh, relative, or, if not above, 
off the level of Sasuke that yeah. could already beat Deidara anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, the only difference is that, unlike Sasuke, who is close to very short mid range, Jiraiya He's... and Orochimaru are a lot longer range. Yeah, yeah, yeah they got further distance they can um, attack, man. Them to have more of an upper hand With different Deidara. sort of like. There's also this implication. Jiraiya's um, Genjutsu is different as well, isn't it? Like the was it uh, at all. sound more and than ocular? Even when Sasori was trying to spy on Orochimaru, he was aware of it. There's this pseudo rivalry where it seems that Orochimaru was very confident in taking him, uh, even was going to assassinate him at one point. Uh, the only other thing is that it also seemed in those scenes that Orochimaru had zero fear when it came to Datara. Yeah, he went not bother to would argue that due to that Sasuke scaling, that Jiraiya probably is uh, that level, at least relative enough to fight in that battle. Yeah. In which, you know, Toad Song and... That's the one I was things. talking about, kind of yeah. Their, it like, just kind of... Like, there's just so many win cons for Jiraiya, mm. and he probably, like, due to scaling to Sasuke and Orochimaru, probably has the reaction speed and the smarts and the sense. Oh, he's clever, man. Jiraiya is definitely enough. clever uh, enough to figure stuff out when he fights. Maybe went off or something, uh, but who knows, you know, he, maybe he could also reverse summon himself. Yeah, or, summon a know, toad in the way, or yeah, like, that, that's anything he could do with a touching Kasami. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, escape mechanisms. He might be able to just, like, teleport Datara into that realm while he blows yeah. up. Yo, imagine! Yeah, let's just so blow up the inside of a turtle. <laughs> a turtle? A, 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 a toad? Oh my god, this cold's killing me. That just nobody really seems Ugh. to talk about for some reason, which helps him a lot with these fights. Now, as for the Kakuzu fight, I do think that Jiraiya is more like a Kakuzu level for me, personally. Yeah, uh, I think that one's a lot harder for me to decide on. It's not like a definitive win. Oh, this makes it more difficult for the rest but, of the cats to get in there. Jesus, a lot stronger than Jiraiya, mm. so it's not really any statement for me. Um, so I would say that Jiraiya is closer to Kakuzu than to Pain, in my opinion. Yeah, okay, uh, yeah. For the most part. I, I and, agree with that. I think that Pain's like way, way above him. Yeah, and something that kind of supports that is uh, you have Kakashi fight a Pain. And he fights the strongest pain. Mm -hmm. He yeah, fights, I talked about actually, this before. Actually, he actually yeah. fights the pain that ripped Jiraiya's arm off, as well as the Honcho pain. Uh, so he fights stronger pains than Jiraiya and Sage Mode did. Not mm -hmm. to say he beats Sage Jiraiya, but you know, just an example. And this Kakashi just got done kind of losing to Kakazu without his MS, uh, give or take. Huh, yeah. you know, they were somewhat relative-ish, with Kakashi <clears throat> slightly superior. Of course, Kakashi, you could always whip out his MS, as he implied, but you know, the Sharingan Kakashi that fought Kakazu uh, was also shortly later fighting you know, pain. stronger pain. Yeah. So yes, I do think that Sage Jiraiya probably is more like that tier uh, than Pain, so I do think that it's a debatable subject. Right, okay, so, interesting. Yeah, obviously, interesting. Yeah, yeah. we know Naruto beat Kakuzu, and Naruto believes that in order to Even though when he was in Sage mode, he couldn't Jiraiya, beat Pain, so, yeah. Have to learn Sage mode. Like, I think that Sage Jiraiya is still way stronger than that Ross and Shuriken Kakuzu battle Naruto. Right. I don't think a whole lot of people would disagree with that. But I do think that the thematic argument of him needing to learn Sage Moda surpass his mentor probably makes a lot of sense. It's probably what Kishimoto is going for. Trying so to, yeah. If we're talking to the comments, I would I would say that. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Now, Sasori is a character that I... I don't know how to scale this fella. I it's really very difficult, like it's the puppets. The puppets, man. I'm a Sasori goon. I have Sasori pretty high on the tier list. He's a very interesting I character. Like He's got a lot going on, but... Uh... In fact... Sasori is above Sage Jiraiya. You can take this or leave oh, this if interesting. you want. Oh, uh, interesting. Seth on. already went over some arguments that put Whoa. Jiraiya above Sasori, which I think are totally valid. The main reason for Sasori is it's stuff that I've talked about before, right? It's like all the third Kazakage stuff. Yeah, all the puppets the and all their abilities Kage's they can do in that. He's controlling them all. It's like, Gaara, what? Uh, and also stronger than Rasa, who Gara was like relative to. And Gara is not that far behind the other Kage, I would say. During the war, and Sasori did it without that puppet, which is like his greatest asset. But there are a lot of like Sasori anti feats out there. Like even though he like let Shio and Sakura kill him, there are. There you go. You see, I was like, I was talking with my girlfriend about this. I was like, did he let them kill him? Like, well, people just don't let Sakura have the win, so we're gonna have to go with that. <laughs> about wanting to kill one of the characters. 
so it's like he's not putting on an act unless he is putting up some kind of like joker level performance where he has to convince himself or he's like oh i should think this just in case one of them can read minds or something which is insanely absurd it's a, to assume. It's a very yeah, 3d yeah. chess move isn't it it's like what that, sure like he was suppressed the whole time but like he was straight up monologuing at one point and Sakura was able to evade his attacks, and we know that Sasuke at the start of Shippuden is way stronger than her. So, yeah. And then it takes Curse Mark 2 plus Ants for Sasuke to reach Sonic level. So, you know, it's kind of like... Eh, What's going on? <laughs> nah, I guess uh, Kisame is... Kisame uh, is I don't think Jiraiya hard. could beat Kisame. That guy is strong. I don't think so, he can. Okay, I think this is where it's at now, isn't it? If you think that Kisame said that the Sonin makes seven ninja swordsmen look bad, and he was making this assumption based off of how strong Orochimaru was when he was in the Akatsuki, then Jiraiya smacks him up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, very easily. don't think that's... But if you think that maybe he was just making an assumption about their titles based on how hard, like, Hanzo is, like, wanking them to yeah. the world to make them popular. <laughs> oh, you three were really strong. I will give you a whole different I name. Ha ha ha. you can totally discount that statement from Kisame, because uh, even Kishimoto has said before that Kisame kind of exists in Itachi's shadow. Itachi was the first one to say they should run, and Itachi also did use a Matarasu to get out of the frog. Bellies, right? <laughs> yeah, so, yeah like, that's that. Kisame sees Itachi like busting his ass and is probably just like, oh shit. He had to use the Megekyo Sharingan, like wow. Yeah, like he like he has no reason to believe that Itachi is like mega mind, like 4D chess lying to him and like an undercover like on Oh I see what he's saying, yeah. He doesn't which, have any reason to believe that he's like was, faking while, any kind of thing. It's, uh, I think yeah. it's Generations, right? Yeah, it's been a while since I've brought this one up, so yeah, Generations, something like that. One of them was canon, but it shows Itachi versus Kisame fighting, and the second oh, yeah. uh, Kisame forces Itachi to whip out the MS, Kisame's like, oh wow, that's good enough for me just to see you whip out the Yeah, eye. he's like, okay, fair enough, dude. I'm, I'm done, done. Yeah. to see Jiraiya whip out that eye, he's like, wow, that guy must be stronger than me. But you know, something I just thought of right now yeah. is the fact he made Itachi whip out the MS, yeah, when, you know, Orochi... Which Mara didn't get to see that, yeah. That, like, you know, didn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Jiraiya is Orochi Mara's equal. Yeah. That's one thing about Kisame that makes him so hard to scale, and I had a problem with this in my Akatsuki ranking video, it was that, you know, the thing about Kisame is that while his base stats uh, are actually not the most crazy, mm. uh, the stronger his opponent is, the stronger he, he is. becomes. Yeah, because so, he can absorb the chakra and uh, use it against it really them with the sword. It's like, what? You know, how long you think he can fight. And how yeah, like his stamina and that, how long he can hold out. But yeah, yeah, yeah he minutes. is not wrong. The stronger you know, he fights, dries, like, the stronger he like, becomes. Uh, instant frog song, or maybe instant massive or sang on to him, maybe it would, like, heavily damage him. You know, how much chakra can Samehata just absorb, and is Kisame fast enough to react to Sage Jiraiya? Like, do you think Sage Jiraiya is, say, as fast as Base Killer B, or something like that? Hmm. Because, you know, Kisame could react to Base Killer B, so, you know, you have to, you have to think He's got some reaction like time on him. When you're thinking of the battle, and, uh, so, this is a hard 50-50 for both of them, so... Now, who else are we missing? Oh god, here we go. That's oh, no that's... <laughs> we don't need well, to talk about can, that. We can talk about Itachi, actually. We can, we can, talk can about we? Itachi. I think Itachi's got this. Easy. Oh, Itachi ran away from, from, yeah, from yeah. base. No, 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 no. <laughs> Talked about this in my Itachi video. You know, every Itachi collab in existence that has remotely mentioned Jiraiya. Yeah. <laughs> it's just his character, you know, not wanting to go all out and kill Jiraiya, who's taking care of Naruto. Yeah, 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 he wants Naruto to, like, grow, and that he wants him to eventually help Naruto Sasuke on his journey. It's like, he needs to just make it out, of, uh, make Kasami think they need to escape. Yeah. You know, like, Obito had to break the ice, like, did she 
no, Itachi could have killed you at any moment. Yeah, if you really want to, you'd be dead. You would not be so here talking to me right if now. Do all that. He can certainly play it up that Jiraiya is stronger. Yep, than he is. definitely. And this is the this is the main argument. This is how it goes. Okay, you ready for this? Okay, Itachi points at Orochimaru. Okay, points at him. Yep. Puts him into a genjutsu so crazy that as a 14 year old. Removes his arm. That Orochimaru, years later, when he's strong enough to fight the strongest Kage with Edo Tensei summonings, doesn't want to scrap with Itachi remotely until he gets his own Sharingan yep. from his from Sasuke, yeah. body. And it's just so devastated by getting pointed at with one finger, says, I can never be Itachi. He's too strong. Like, and Sasuke himself is like, yeah, me and Orochimaru might need to fuse our bodies to be able to take him. Like, it's clearly demonstrated that mm -hmm. Itachi is above the Sani in terms of power. Definitely. Like, that's the whole point. Like, Pain and Itachi are the above they Sani are level up and the pre-war bosses for Naruto and Sasuke. Like, that is the whole point. Like, 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 just being straight up honest. It's just so clear to me. It's very funny that Itachi goes to the Leaf Village, where Naruto is, literally infiltrates it, and mm -hmm. starts eating in, like, a restaurant undercover. Nobody spots him, right? And then, like, fights with everybody outside, but he yeah. specifically waits until Naruto and Jiraiya are supposed to be, like, together. I think it's also... Something you need to think about from Itachi's perspective is... How is he going to convince Obito he was genuinely struggling? Uh. Because Black Zetsu and Obito are probably not going to be convinced that someone like Kakashi, who is seems to be weaker than Orochimaru, who we pointed away, yep. scared him away from the village. It's just it just doesn't seem likely. So someone like Jiraiya. Yeah, you have to use like a big like. Yeah, yeah, I I stand. totally agree with that. Yeah, oh, yeah. it's more of a it's believable. Just, we ran away because Jiraiya yeah, turned up, not because Kakashi turned up. We'd be like, what? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Up Kakashi, Kakashi's like, why didn't he kill, me. kill me? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> what? Like, it really so, could have. Yeah, it really could have. With everyone, yeah. It's... It just doesn't mean anything. Yeah, yeah I, I want to know, know comments. What do you think Jiraiya can do to bust through the Yadamir? <laughs> toad summoning jutsu. <laughs> like, how is he, like, resisting the toad's complaint? The only uh, thing that Jiraiya could do to Itachi is, like, frog song him. But, I mean, like, if you were to be, like, in a genuine matchup, Itachi has, like, 99% more win cons than Jiraiya does. And, like, yeah. just more than likely just wins. Not to say Jiraiya just can't possibly win. Apparently, he could possibly be pain if everything went perfectly. Yeah, so, like, if he knew sure his secret. <laughs> What, that the six of them and someone's controlling them from a different location? Yeah. And, uh, so then there's Obito, which, like, yeah. Seth man mentioned, it's like, come on. <laughs> Jirai ain't got that. Yeah. Like, come on. Do you actually, like, come on. <laughs> we don't need to go over that. No. It's just, Minato thinks that yeah, I was about Obito to say, I was is about just to more intimidating than Pain. Who, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's something a 14 year old yellow mask Obito is strong. Would require than Nine Tails Jinchuriki mode, by the way. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just, yeah, he, he, he ain't, ain't doing Naruto that. He ain't messing with him. Yeah, he, he thinks that the Sage mode isn't, like, enough. He's like, no, you need to master the Nine Tails. So. Yeah. He's seen him fight Kagazu, he's seen him fight Pain, he's seen all of it. He's like, nope. You need Nine Tails mode, buddy. Not happening. <laughs> so that's just as clear as it gets. <laughs> like so. So okay, uh, Jiraiya has about like a uh, sixty-six percent, maybe like fifty-fifty. Definitely auto loses to three. Yeah. Might lose to like I said. And Yay. Beats the other five. It's almost like just like Orochimaru, he could join the Akatsuki, but he wouldn't yeah. be the strongest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> crazy, how, crazy how that added up. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's wow. yeah, it's perfect. Mm, he'd, he'd be right there, like next to Kisame, like where Orochimaru is on like, his <laughs> Akatsuki list. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> crazy how that shakes out. Mm. Thanks for coming, uh, everybody. Make sure you go subscribe to Seth. Uh, subscribe to the channel too if you want more Naruto content. Um, let me know. 
what we got wrong that was like really egregious, uh, let us know if we. I love the plushy version of Swag's like ten, character mode class. Ten-hour response video now. Oh no. Yeah. Make the response videos now. Drop them. Yeah. Get tell me, us all get our arguments the are edgy and not. Yeah. No. Get uh Susan from YouTube. <laughs> yep. Susan <to> Wojcicki. Publicly <laughs> laugh at us. And tell us That'd be hilarious. Could you imagine? And then have her delete our channels for making yeah. such a dumb. Argument about the Damn. <laughs> okay, <Yeah>. bye. <laughs> That's funny. Da -da -da. That was class. That was really. <laughs> yeah, that was an interesting one. Sorry if I'm not too. Oh, like, like I said, this cold is absolutely murdering me. <laughs> but hopefully, give it a few days, I should be. Okay, and that was an interesting video. I really liked that. Uh, I like that I was right <laughs> that Jiraiya could not take on Itachi, but I like the whole Itachi thing because people do do forget that like he was really holding back the whole time in Naruto Part One because of the grand master plan he had with Sasuke and everything and actually saving Konoha and that. But anyway, thank you to my patrons. If you want to have your name at the end of every video, I upload links in the description of the Patreon page. One dollar a month is all I ask for the channel. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you guys very much for that, and thank you all for watching. What do you guys think of that? What do you guys think of this? Click like, subscribe, and really leave comments down below. Let me know what I should watch and discuss in future videos, and I'll see you guys, all you guys, next time.